Good morning, everyone. I am Corinne Braxton, and I am coming to you from Bozeman, Montana today. And it is sort of rainy and sort of sunny. It sort of rains and then, it's, then the sun is shining. So we're having some gorgeous weather here in Montana. And uh, last week we had snow. This week we have beautiful sunshine and nice weather. We had uh, gorgeous weather over Mother's Day weekend. Hope you all had a great Mother's Day, or relaxing in time with your family and friends. Um, we were just, we had sort of a quiet Mother's Day because uh, we had all of our kids were, our grandkids were racing um, up in Anaconda. They were doing motocross racing and jumping and doing that kind of thing. Let me just check and see if I'm transmitting in the right place. Uh, let's see once. Hmm. There we go, now I can see myself. That's good, good to know we're in the right spot. Okay, uh, so anyway, we had a, we had a busy, we had a busy weekend actually. On Friday, we were all together. Um, our granddaughter Grace graduated from Montana State University. So that was a very fun, good morning, Jeannie. Uh, it was fun to, we were so proud of her. To, uh, to graduate, she, you know, she had a rough start. It was during COVID, you know, she started college during COVID. And so I'm, we were just proud of her for making it through. And she had a lot of, she had like 21 credits this last semester. So it was quite an accomplishment. Anyway, uh, we had a nice um, graduation ceremony with, with the, at the, at the stadium here or the field house here in, in Bozeman. And then we had a nice family lunch with, um, bunch of people. So it was really nice. And then Sunday, we just, um, we went out to lunch and it was, and Terry cooked some dinner that night. That was it. So hope you all had a good day. Um, let's see once we have a lot going on. We have our new catalog and that is live. I can show you the inside. We are now, you know, right in the midst of May, middle of May. And we have this fabulous joining special. I showed this last week. You really get a lot. For $99, you get to join Stamping Up. You get hundred. You choose $125 worth of products. Good morning, Jolene from Minnesota. You get, you get to choose any $125 that you want. Plus, you get free shipping, uh, free paper pumpkin, and then you get all of these things. You get an extra whole pack of, you get all of these in colors. It's this whole package of paper, um, that, that's, I don't know how many sheets it is. That's a lot of all the new colors. Then you get a package of the designer paper, all the in colors, and the markers, all of the Stampin', not the blends, but these are Stampin' Right markers that you can use on your on your stamps, too. Good morning, Carla. Good morning, Brenda from Illinois. Carla from Wisconsin. Oops. And uh, let's see, what else do I have here? Oh, and then you get, this is just a great way to build your stash and to save money. You get all of these stamp pads, all of that. You get everything in that basket, plus $125 of your choice. So that's, it's a great time to join. Really, it truly, truly is. There's no obligation. I would love to have you on my team. If you would like to save money, this is a great way to do it. Um, anyway, let me know. So today we have, I'm gonna be coming to you live today. Good, see, good to see you, Brenda from Illinois. Um, anyway, um, I'm going to come to you twice today, this morning, and then also this afternoon. It'll be 4 o'clock Mountain Time. So it'll be Good Morning Munch from Northern Montana. I'm going to, Today is sort of a craft along. So it's just my normal Tuesday Facebook Live. But because we have a brand new catalog, I wanted to do a launch and to show a lot of things and also do a craft along. So I'm going to be showing, showcasing five different cards today and making kits, I have these all made already. And after you watch this morning and this afternoon, if you place an order in my store, or you can call me if you wanna order or send me an email, but you can do it on my online store. If you place it, an order, then I will send you the kit with all of these cards in it. Everything will be cut, 
every it will have um, all the embossing done if it has embossing. Good morning, Kathy from Fort Collins, Colorado. Um, anyway, I'm going to be featuring this morning. I'm featuring the adventurous sky, the airplane bundle. This afternoon, I'm going to do two different, um, one bundle and one stamp set. It's really neat. So I hope you'll also tune in this afternoon. Oh, that's four o'clock mountain time. Um, anyway, um, so, and then you'll have the entire, this entire week, if anyone who places an order this week by Sunday, then I will send the five kits. If you place an order over $50, then you'll get embellish a new embellishment package also. Okay, let's start today. Um, we have um, two fun folds this morning. And this afternoon, we'll have three other cards that are totally different with a different set of stamps. Okay, let's turn the camera down. Okay, these are some cards that are coming. I have a class on Thursday. Good morning, Jan, from Eastern Montana. Um, so the class this Thursday is called Thoughtful Wishes, and this gorgeous paper is a Thoughtful Journey. It is the prettiest paper in the catalog. It's six by six. Anyway, we're going to do six cards, five that are regular size, and then one is a, a Memories and More. So we have um, just really, this is, so this is one, just beautiful die cuts to go with it. Here's another one. This is the Fun Fold. This is the class is $32 and includes a half a package of paper and the gems and all the tutorials uh, typed and printed. And um, if you're, then I can, I can, the class is in person. I still have room for a couple more, maybe two more. And also you can take it to go. So anyway, that's what's coming up for Thursday. Um, and this afternoon, we're going to be using the same set of, of dies too. So, a little two purpose, a little twofold. Okay, we are going to be today working on Take to the Sky is the name of the bundle. And it is on page 36 and 37. And it is a fabulous set. Actually, it was the first set that I started playing with. I love the paper. Let's see if I can move this up a little bit there. You can see it better. Uh, a little bit better. You can see all the paper. And it's just a beautiful set. It's 12 by 12. And there's some uh, little trinkets. They are called, what are they called? Industrial trinkets. They look like little bolts and nuts and things from a, an airplane. Can you see that okay? They're a little heavy. Not too bad. Not real thin. And then the other, but the other gems that I really like really well that we're going to be using today are the, it's called Basic Gray and Smoky Slate Pearls. And they're just beautiful. I've used quite a few. I made the card that we're using today, I did for a swap. Um, I was in a business, I was in several business swaps. So there we go. We're going to move this around a little bit. There we go. That sort of covers up that glare. And maybe one more. Let's see if we can figure this out. Um, mm -hmm. You can't really do it ahead of time. There we go. There. I have to sort of look in the camera also to be able to, to see that. Okay, there the glare is sort of, those are sort of translucent. Okay, the first card we're making is this airplane card and it's a book binding card. I'm gonna bring the camera down now. This is my May host code right there. If you're ordering from me, Corinne's crafts.stampingup.net and a May hoax. If you could please use that host code, that would be great. Um, when you're ordering, I also appreciate you sharing thumbs up, commenting. I read all the comments at night, so I love hearing from you, and I like sharing projects with you. Okay, this is a vertical book binding. You've seen me do lots of book bindings, but probably not as many of the vertical ones, but I thought this worked out really nicely. So, this is how it goes together. Here is the stamp. It's a uh, red rubber cling stamp. 
and the dyes are wonderful. Lots of clouds, several different airplanes cut out some of the airplanes, cut out some of the images, and some, it, the second card, we're going to actually do some paper, some piecing together. So it's a great set. Um, I think it's a super set for men. Okay, we are going to start by doing some, getting our pieces out. And let's see what's here. We have a regular base that's five and a half by eight and a half, four and a quarter, scored at four and a quarter plus five and a half. So I like this area to be one and a quarter, just between the crease and there. That way we can put a one inch strip out on this and it works out beautifully. So there's that. And then we have some narrow strips for the side. Those are one inch by five and a half. We've got the large front piece. <coughs> and that's two and three fourths by five and a fourth. And what did I do with my inside piece? We've got the little circle. What did I do with that inside piece? I had it right here. I, du I double checked it before. Oh, there it is. It's stuck to the other DSP. So we have this piece and then we have the designer paper and those are exactly the same. Those are the same. If you want to take a screenshot, you can. I will also have all of these. I already have them all typed up. And um, at the end, you can find it under, give me a few minutes after the video is finished. And then they will appear under the more. Hey, Darcy, good to see you. You haven't done that fold for a long time. Yeah, I know. It's, it's, a, it's a good one for sure. I love, I love book binding cards. It's one of them, they're easy. And they're, they pack a, a punch too. Okay, let's do our, um, let's put our pieces together. Do you think we should use this copper plaid or the gray plaid? Which one do you want me to use today? So we're going to put our, this is our base right there. You tell me, do you want the gray or the copper? Which plaid? So now to make this book binding, I'm going to take my, my uh, not my fast view, my seal plus, and I'm just going to very, Gently use, run that down through here. I have to be really careful on my Seal Plus because it's super strong and very sticky and I have to be, I can't go so fast. I go pretty fast with the Seal Plus. But um, anyway, this goes back like this. This is for stamping on the inside. This is going to go on the outside. Now, have you decided copper or gray? That's gray granite, by the way. Okay, and this is going to go on the front, right there, like that. Um, we're going to put that on the inside. Or, and they, this paper is fabulous, I think. It's just, look, at this looks like a topographical map or something. Um, so this is, go just want to make sure your airplanes are going the correct way. Um, orientation like that. Okay, let's see what you're saying. Martina said copper. Carla said copper. Uh, good morning, Martina. Copper, copper. We're going to use copper. Munch said copper. Everyone's saying copper. We're going to just go with copper today because the other card I used the gray. So that's nice to have a variation. Okay, let's um, let's put that on. You see how easy this is? Just, and one inch strips can be, are usually leftover strips. So that works out so nicely. A long time ago, oop, I guess I cut it a little, we're gonna snip it off with our snips. A long, long time ago, I'm just gonna say 15 years ago maybe, when I would make book binding cards, I would, it was not this dimension. And then it was like three fours or whatever, it was complicated. And it works out really well if this dimension between here and here is one and a quarter then it makes it just a perfect fit. Okay, let's do our stamping. We're gonna do our stamping on our inside first. This card goes together so quickly, you won't believe it. Put that away. So our inside stamping is going to go there. We're going to start with our um, gray. You know what? Actually, our, our smoky slate. Um, we don't need that for, we need that, yes. Okay, and we're gonna do our navy. So I'm gonna set this aside. 
and we have our we're going to do some smoky slate in this grid along the bottom just like this okay that's all we need for that and then we're going to do the night of navy we're going to stamp that We're gonna do, you're the best, plain and simple. Love that. Oop, it's not quite as dark as I'd like it to be. I think I'm gonna turn that over. Let's do it again. You're the best, plain and simple. That's much better. And now we're gonna do our gray again. Thankfully, paper has two sides to it, so it's really simple. Um, I've got, you know, I'm sitting back here and I'm, my camera is, so it's a little bit more of a reach than normally. There we go. That's easy enough to do that. And there we have that. Close those up so I don't get my fingers all inky. And um, now we're going to do our, we're going to set that aside. We're going to do, what, where did I put that? We're going to do some balmy blue. And we're going to, um, now on this card, I did not do that. I did not sponge the background, but we're going to do that because I think it looks neat. I think it will look neat. I don't know, I haven't done it. So we're gonna just do that, I think, and then we're gonna do our stamp. So this is some Balmy Blue. Anytime that you are, are using um, blending brushes, you wanna always start on your grid paper and go, start from off and go on to your, and do little circles. So. Get some ink on there and then rub it just real, just to give it a nice little, it's not going to be real dark, it's just going to have a little, little edge to it like that. I think that'll be nice. Okay, I think that's good. Ooh, that ink pad is hard to, was hard to close. Okay, now we're going to take our black Memento. I'm going to bring this back to the, like that. And we're going to black, our black Memento ink. And we're going to stamp up our airplane like this. How many of you have this set already? How many of you want this set? Oh my goodness, I think it's a fun one. You know, it's so, I think Stamping Up did a great job this time. We're going, um, because... They, they have some nice masculine sets, okay, in the this new catalog. Now, I do think it's a little bit tricky to find things sometimes, but um, I did bring in my, this is pecan pie. I don't know where my, no, it's not pecan pie. It's soft suede old, so it's retired. But this is the copper clay, and I was going to do the body in the copper clay, in the gray. This is a tiny, tiny piece. I'm going to do a little, and this is the dark copper clay too, so I couldn't find the light one. I must have put it someplace. Okay, but I think it'll be just fine. Just like that. And <clears throat> Now we're gonna do a little bit of gray on the wings. Let's see, can you see okay? Let me bring it down a little bit lower. There we go. This is the smoky slate. This would, could be, you could color this with um, your colored pencils also. You don't have to have blends. I should actually get my colored pencils out sometime. I haven't used them for a long time. Okay, this is part of the wing over here. This is a little bit tricky. That's part of the wing. Let's use some dark smoky slate for the uh, wheels. Just like that. 
and these little, we're gonna just make these dark. Okay. And we're gonna take some Wink of Stella and I'm gonna make this look like it's spark, like twirling around like that. And we're gonna give it a little, we're gonna put a little uh, bolt right there. I'm gonna put a, uh, a light, a smoky slate right here. Here we go. And that is almost our card finished. Let's just put, assemble it. Okay, we're going to get our pieces together right here. This is going to go on the inside. Only you guys know that I, I stamped on the other side. There we go. Okay, like that. And this is going to get popped up. Let's see, let's, let's get a little piece of my, uh, we'll get one of my adhesive sheets that I like to cut up. We'll just put that on there like this. Nice piece. And we're gonna have our airplane sort of going up in the air a little bit, just like that. And there is our card. You're the best, plain and simple. So here is the other one that I did before with the gray, the smoky slate, and then this is the copper. And which do you think you like better? Do you think you like the copper or the gray? Do you like the blue behind it or not? I don't know. It's a little bit, I don't know. What do you think? What? What is your, hi, hi Simone, good to see you this morning from Florida. Let's see, Martina said, I have um, an old one. We used vellum for the propeller or something. You like the copper. Oh, I like the copper too, I think. I think it looks really nice. Good choice, ladies. That's our first card. All finished, easy, easy. Remember the directions will be at the end. Um, when I'm finished, I'll post all those. They're all typed up. So let's put that aside. And now let's go on to our second card. And this one is quite a, it's not a hard fun fold, but it takes a lot of paper. So I don't know what I was thinking when I was doing this for the craft alone, because it does take almost a whole sheet of paper. Um, I, this is, this was my inspiration. I had this card from several years ago that I did in a class and um, I had always loved it and saved it. And then one of my classmates gave me the same card we made in class. She wrote me a note on it. Um, anyway, and I found that and I thought, oh, I love that card. So that's what gave me the inspiration for this. Let me take a little sip of... And you can see on this one, we're not going to stamp the plane, but we're going to pierce, piece it together. So let's get all of our pieces out. I'm gonna get these, um, I'm gonna put these little tiny propellers in my dish, in the sweet little dish. Um, okay, and it's not a hard card to make at all. It's just the simple folds, but it takes a little bit of, of paper for sure. Okay, we are going to start with the dimensions first. I'm gonna lay these all out for you. If you wanna take a screenshot, you can. So we have five and a half by nine and a fourth. And so you can't get two cards out of one piece of cardstock. Normally we can get two cards out of one, but this one is a little bit, takes more paper. So it's five and a half by nine and a fourth. And then you're gonna score it at one and a half, two and three fourths, six and a half, and seven and three fourths. I'll show you what that looks like on my scoreboard. This one's already done, but you can see how I laid it out. Here it is at one and a half, two and three fourths, six and a half, seven and three fourths. And it works great, especially if you're doing lots of these. I love the scoreboard. If you're only doing one, you can certainly just use your paper trimmer. So that's our base. Then we have our middle piece. 
um, it's going to be three and a fourth by five. We're gonna put a little border on this one to give a, just a little edge. So our border is three and a half by five and a fourth, just like that. And then on the back, we're gonna do the same. <coughs> <coughs> the back is going to be exactly the same as the front. Okay, and then we have our side pieces. We have two strips that are one and a fourth by five and a fourth, and you have to cut two of those. So those are the pictures. If you wanna take a screenshot, you certainly can. There we go. And then you need, I cut out, um, die cut these, this plane. So we're gonna put that on another one of these. Uh, this is called, this is a wonderful set. If you don't have these, and I've covered up the name here. What is it called? Everyday, Everyday Details. I love this. I was so thrilled that they carried these over. Everyday Details, just a beautiful set of dies that carried over from the catalog um, in the spring. So we're gonna put these together in a minute, but we're gonna put all of this together now first. So we are going to take these off this is really important. You want to give it some really good creases along here. Really sharp, sharp with your bone folder. And then I go back and I, I do this side also. Like that. You want it. And this is a great card to stand up on the mantle or wherever you put cards. Okay, so we're going to take all these pieces. And again, I always appreciate you uh, thumbs up and hearts and all of those things. That's so helpful to me and helps Facebook know that, that people are interested in my channel. So um, the more you comment, the more people watch and the more thumbs up and hearts that all helps the algorithms, whatever those are, I'm not really quite positive. So we just layered that beautiful set of clouds. I love that sheet. I wish we had a whole package of just clouds so this is definitely a great set of DSP to, to buy, I think. So in the um, card kits that I'll be sending, all everything will be cut for you. You don't have to cut anything. If there's any embossing, then you will, um, I will, I have, um, will have embossed all that too. Oh, I need, you need to decide. Do you want me to use the gray plaid or the topographical, or we could use that. I don't think that's as nice, maybe. Well, I don't know. We could use that. There's the, the topographical map. This is the gray granite and the clouds on the other side. What, which one do you think I should use? While you're trying to make that decision, I am going to, you tell me which one of these should I use? We're gonna put this together. We're gonna do some stamping first and then we're going to we'll stamp our happy birthday this is one of the prettiest the very prettiest happy birthdays i have ever seen i love i love the font on all of these stamps look at that isn't that a pretty 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 birthday stamp it's a definite keeper for sure and then on the back, we're going to stamp, uh, we'll do some stamping on this back piece. We're going to do the same thing as we did before. We're going to do some You're the Best, plain and simple. There's also a really nice Father's Day card. Not Father's Day card. Father's Day uh, stamp. Let's see what it says in here. Um, it also has Happiest Father's Day, Flying by, by to Say Hi, and you always lift me up. That's a nice one. You always lift me up. Anyway, um, we are going to use You're the Best, plain and simple. And then we're going to put some more of that grid nuts and bolts. So which one do you want me to use? The gray plaid, the airplanes, or the topographical? Which one should I use on this card? So now this is a little wider. I'm going to stamp it I'm going to stamp it twice. I'm going to just turn this around a little bit like that. And that worked out well. It's a nice stamp, nice little, looks like the rivets on an airplane, I think. 
Okay, and let's see once how we're doing here. Okay, let's see what you're saying. Third one, gray backing, topographical. Hey, Janet, good to see you. Topographical map, topographical jam. Thank you, Levon. Um, glad you're home, Levon. Thanks, Stacy, for sharing. Appreciate that a lot. Oh dear, you keep telling me, do you want gray, gray the, the plaid, the airplanes, or the topographical? So far, I think the topographical is sort of the winner, but we'll see. We'll wait just another minute. We're gonna put the rest of our card together. It's going to go in the back, just like this. Now, we're just gonna put it right there in the middle. This is exactly the same as the white on the front. Okay, and then we're going to put this, it's going to go right here. We're going to keep it flat because there's sort of a lot of a lot of uh, bulk in this. Not, well, you know, there's a fair amount of bulk, bulk just because of all the folds. We're going to keep our birthday straight and now uh, like that. Okay. And now we're going to put our airplane together. So your topographical airplane or plaid is what we're choosing. Okay. We're going to put our airplane on first. So we've got a navy blue body. And I'm going to get my uh, reverse tweezers so I don't get my fingers gooey. I don't like doing that at all. I think I'm going to just... Put this on. We're going to make it sort of going uphill a little bit like that. And now we have got the other part. And these fall out, these die cuts, oh, they just fall out like butter. They just, they they really, Stamping Up has done a fabulous job these last few years, I think, with the die cuts. I'm just sort of, you don't need much glue. You just need a little, a little few little dabs. And um, some of you have a, those little bottles with the, you can put your Tombow in the, those little bottles. And I've done that too. And I just, once it's gone, then I always forget to refill them. But you can also sponge your glue on. That's another way to do that. Okay, I'm going to start, I'm going to try to aim for those wheels, and there we go, and this is going to go, I'm going to slide that down just like that, and there we have it, and now we have a, these little tiny propellers, they're hard to pick up, they're so, so thin, I think I'll use my tweezers, I can't even get it, there we go, it's not on the tweezer, but, um, I think what I'm going to do for this, I'm going to take a glue dot and um, I'm going to take a glue dot. I'm going to sort of roll that glue dot up so that it looks like a little ball. It's still there, right there. Can you see that little tiny glue dot? It'll also give it a little bit of dimension by rolling it. So I'm going to put it on that dimension, that little uh, rolled up glue dot right there. And now I'm going to take it off and I'm going to put it on right there. So it's, it's loose. Okay. And there we have that. Now let's get some gems. Have you all made a decision? What do you think? Topographical, plain, or plaid? Um, uh, Martina said airplanes. Joy. Hey, Joy. You said topographical, topo. I think we're gonna go with the topographical one for sure. That's um, That seems to be the consensus, so we're gonna do that. We're gonna put these on. I'm gonna use my... Okay, we're gonna just put both of, get the glue on both of those and now we're gonna just open up our card and we're almost finished with this. There we go. And here's our other one with the glue on it already, adhesive on it. There we are. And there is the card. It stands up like that, beautifully done. And we're gonna put some, some of these gray gems on. I think we're gonna put a large one here on the bottom right there and there's a little bit of ink right there i think we're going to try to cover that up maybe with another large one 
going to slide it off. And we'll do that. And we're going to put a small one next to it. Like that. Okay, and there is our card. All finished. This was very quick this morning. Look at that. Here's the other one that I did that was just like it with the topographical. And then this one is with the, uh, the green, um, it's mossy meadow. Mossy meadow and then the clouds on the side. What do you think? Which do you like better? Do you like the clouds or the green? That's another map. It's very, very pretty. Great paper for sure. So I will post all these and with the directions. Here are a couple other. So now if you order, if you place an order with me this week, you will get all of these kits in the mail already. I'll have everything die cut for you. All you do have to do is you have to use any of your own stamps. You could use any stamps you have, um, any of your own birthday stamps or whatever, um, because that's already cut out for you. So very fun. Okay, here are two swap cards that I received um, in one of my business swaps. This one is um, flying by to say hi. Look at that. It's a, I don't know. It's, I've done these before. They're really fun. They're not too terribly hard either. This one was done by uh, Mary Kate Scott. I don't know where she's from, but isn't, that's nice. And then this one was done. This one's again paper piecing. Kelly Schutte from Minnesota. She stamped on the um, on the white, and then she had a little bit of ribbon down there. This one I think is really pretty. It's um, Michelle Barnes. I don't know where she's from, but let's see. Well, let's open and take this one out. I love doing swaps, and I love getting cards in the mail for new ideas. I like the way she did the uh, banner. She did those rivets and bolt nuts and bolts, and then she stamped, you're the best, plain and simple on that banner. And there is that, that little trinket too. But it's a really nice card, isn't it? And on the inside, she did that. Okay, let's turn the camera back. Thank you very much, Jan, I appreciate that. Close your eyes and I'll turn the camera up. There we go. Oh my goodness, we made it through. That was fast today, really fast. Um, oh, I was worried my, I, I was getting, I'm getting a sty in my eye. I've had this cold, a head cold, and a and terrible cough, and that's getting better. That's all getting better. But now I have, I think it went to my eyes. Anyway, my eye is, I've got a sty, so I've got a, I've called the um, optometrist and hopefully can get some, um, antibiotic for styes. I never used to get styes at all, and I've had one almost once a year now for since I've been older. My dad used to always get styes when he was, I just remember that so clearly. Um, okay, um, don't forget, if you are not a Stamping Up demonstrator, I would, and you don't have someone that you're working with, I would love to take your order. I'd love to have you join my team. Um, and right now is absolutely the best time. I have never seen a special so good. We have 15 more days. Today is May 15th. Well, actually, we have 16 days. Oh, it's, it is miserable. Um, I can, I'm going to have to take out my contacts because I can't, it's, I don't think you're supposed to wear contacts when you have a sty. So I'm going to have to take them out for the rest of the day and put them back in for my next video. So I hope to see you again this afternoon. It'll be at four o'clock. That'll be three o'clock Pacific. 4 o'clock Mountain, 5 o'clock Central, 6 o'clock Eastern Time. And I have three more cards. Um, one of them is Attention Shoppers, which is a set that I didn't think I wanted or liked, but oh my goodness, I love the card. And then the other one is using Thoughtful Wishes and two cards using that bundle. So we will see, hopefully we'll see you this afternoon or the replay. Remember, you can always watch the replay too. Um, and if you're on YouTube, please ring the bell so you can subscribe. If you haven't subscribed on my Crafting Creations, please subscribe because then you'll be notified. 
Um, thank you, Jeannie. Appreciate that. You'll be notified when I go live. So please check your notifications so that you're that you are told when you when someone goes live. Okay, that's it for today, ladies. Thank you so much. Have a great day. We'll see you later. Bye.